Have you ever been confused about the conceptualization of batch size epoch and iterations in neural networks? Believe me, most enthusiasts often suffer a lot to know the differences between these ideas, and I didn't even realize it. This video will discuss the concept of batch size epoch and iterations with some live examples. So, let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video we shall be talking about epoch, batch size, iterations and all these topics. Well, these all terminologies are used widely in neural networks, CNN, ANN, whatever it is. But many times people get confused what exactly are epochs, what is the optimum number of epochs, what is batch size, why do we have to define batch size, what is iterations, how many times do we have to update weights in a neural networks, so many doubts. Well, if you are complete beginner, completely new into deep learning, you can go through my deep learning videos which are already there on my channel. I have a deep learning playlist. I'll also leave the playlist link in the description below so that you can go through. Once you know the basic concepts, then you can come back to this video to understand the difference between epoch, batch size and iterations. So let's get started. Now we'll talk about gradient descent. Again, gradient descent is one of the topics which many people might have known in machine learning, again in deep learning also. So we'll not go in depth, but gradient descent is nothing but an iterative optimization algorithm used in ML to find the best results or minima of a curve. What exactly is gradient? Now gradient, gradient is as simply if you consider a line like this. What will be the gradient here? If I take two points, the gradient here will be change in y with respect to change in x, which means gradient is nothing but delta y divided by delta x. Okay, the more if the line is like this, the gradient will be high. If the line is towards your x axis, your gradient will be low because your delta y is low. Simple. Now gradient means the rate of inclination or dec declination of a slope. Descent means the instant of descending. Okay, the algorithm is iterative means that we need to get the results multiple times to get the most optimal result. The iterative quality of the gradient descent helps a underfitted graph to make the graph fit optimally to the data. Well, I'm not going to go very deep into these topics. Again, this video will be like one or two hours long. So we will stick to the topic. What is batch size, epochs and iterations? Okay, now epoch is simply one epoch is when an entire data set is passed forward and backward through the neural networks only once since one epoch is too big to feed to the computer at once we divide it in smaller batches why we use more than one epoch well the reason is i know it doesn't make sense in the starting that passing the entire data set through a neural network is not enough and we need to pass the full data set multiple times to the same neural network. But keep in mind that we are using a limited data set and to optimize the learning and the graph, we are using gradient descent, which is an iterative process. See, neural networks works exactly like a human brain. What if I give you 10,000 images? Let's say you met me today and you, you have only seen today. Uh, so, or, or else one more real life example will be I give you some somebody's thousand images at once. Will you be able to understand and uh, memorize the person tomorrow? Will you when once you meet him or her, will you be able to recognize him? No. So that is the reason we train the model again and again and again with the same data set. So updating the weights with single pass or one epoch is not enough. Okay, so these are the different scenarios of overfitting, optimum and underfitting. As the number of epoch increases, more number of times the weights are changed in the neural network and the curve goes from underfitting to optimal to overfitting curve. So what is the right number of epochs? Many people ask, when should we stop? What is the right number of epochs? Unfortunately, there is no answer to this question. The answer is different for different data sets. But 
You can say that the number of epochs is related to how diverse your data is. Sometimes when you are moving from 0 to 10 epochs and you are getting an accuracy of 90%. Well, if you move way beyond 10, maybe at 80 or 100 or 1000, you would be getting 92% accuracy. But are you okay with 90% or do you want to train your model for 990 more epochs to get 92% accuracy? It's going to be your call. So understanding the right number of epochs completely depends on you. We have to perform hyperparameter tuning, grid search, randomized search, and then we come across a situation where we find the optimum number of epoch. What is batch size? Well, we'll talk about the code part as well, but theoretically, batch size is total number of training examples present in a single batch. That means if you have 1000 images and I want to train the model in a batch of 100, that means my batch size is 100. That means at one time, 100 images are being trained. So how many iterations are happening to complete one full cycle of the training data? Training data is 1000 and 100 images are being passed at once. So batch size is 100 we need 10 iterations to complete 1000, right? So here, iterations will be 10, batch size will be 100, and number of epochs will be, it depends. You are completing 10 iterations in one epoch. In your code, if you are defining 100 epochs, that means you are doing 10 multiplied with 100 iterations. So those many times, your weights will be updated in the neural networks. So batch size and number of batches are two different things. What is a batch? As I said, you can't pass the entire data set into the neural network. So you divide data sets into number of batches. Just like you divide a big article into multiple sets or batches or parts like introduction, gradient descent, epoch, batch size and iterations, which make it easy to read the article, right? The same example is when you are looking at a when you have enrolled for a course, you must have seen table of contents where you have multiple chapters, right? So you have to learn chapter by chapter by chapter by chapter. That's exactly the concept of batch. Now, what are iterations? Iteration is the number of batches needed to complete one epoch. The number of batches is equal to number of iterations for one epoch. Let's say we have 2000 training examples or 2000 images that we are going to use. We can divide the data set of 2000 examples into batches of 500. So my batch size is 500. 2000 images, batch size 500. How many iterations are required to complete one full training data? Four iterations. So there will be four iterations to complete one epoch. Now, just imagine if you are defining your epoch value as 100. That means how many total iterations? 4 multiplied with 100, which is 400. So 400 times your weights will be updated in your neural network. That's all about the topic. We'll quickly jump into the practical code to show you how things happen. Now we quickly jump into the code part. In this code, this is one of the codes uh, re related to the CNN parameters. Now. There was one of the videos which I released like a couple of days back where I have talked about how parameters are calculated in CNN, right? So this is the same exact data set. I will also be leaving this data set document, data set link in the description below. Now here, make a note of it. We are using 64 batch size. So batch size is 64, epochs is 24. Now you can see the training data is 60,000. So if training data is 60,000 and the batch size is 64, how many iterations will be required to complete one epoch? 60,000 divided by 64, which is somewhere around 937 point something. You can use the calculator. So 937 something iterations in one epoch. As we move ahead in the program, you can see when I'm running this code, here I have defined epoch equals to epochs. Now epochs is nothing but my variable that I have defined somewhere. So my epochs is 24. 
and my batch size is 64 and my total training data size is 60,000. That is the reason you can see Epoch 1 by 24, 2 by 24 and 938 is nothing but the number of iterations. Now, if you ask me in this particular piece of code, how many times the weights will be updated in the neural network? It will be 938 multiplied with 24. So that's all about this particular topic on batch size, epochs and iterations. If you like, please like, share and subscribe the channel and stay tuned. There are a lot more topics and a lot more contents coming up. Machine learning, statistics and various projects. So that's it from my side. Thank you.